All right, after Sid gave us his rousing speech, we are off to the capital of Orofarm to infiltrate it. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> right, right? Like, in majestic silence, has Drake's, has Drake's head ever still vigil over the Empire of Sambrek and its visual capital? Oh, in majestic silence, has Drake's head. Because I was reading that first, I was like, that doesn't make any sense. I just read it wrong. Don't mind me. All right, let's go. Let's see what happens. I'm excited, actually. This is this is probably gonna be huge. Oh, yeah. See there. Like there you go. You've reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you will not be able to return. Oh snap. Well, I made a save. So if I need to do anything, then yes, I will go take care of that. But yeah, let's. It's a pivotal moment. So let's go. men here then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do this bodes well hmm. i'll be a first this may not be such a terrible plan after all and what exactly is that supposed to mean only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed yeah but that's half the fun of it life's too short for perfect plans you want a plan that'll keep you on your toes stop you growing old and complacent Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Right. <laughs> Their friendship on, is buddy. This way. I'm trying to stay out of sight. Obviously. Yeah. Thanks, Sid. Well, we're on the passage is empty. We can actually go down. Good. I was hoping there'd be something there. <laughs> All right, not quite empty. Let's get this over with. Hey, look. Yeah. This passage used to be secret. Of course it did. <laughs> Perfect plans, guys. Perfect plans. No. Magic users must go first. Uh, I had the wrong one. I was trying to do like... Nope, I was trying to do a grab. This guy's guarding. Here, have this. Checked more. They never stood a chance. 
Welcome. As I side checked it just in case there's a hidden treasure chest around here. I mean so far opening chests hasn't really given much of anything. Just a lot of crafting materials. <clears throat> Haven't found a whole lot of that would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. I haven't found too many of the uh, music tracks. They're probably more hidden. And all good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Uh, hmm. Right. Captain, the Take a few of them with me. Ooh, that gave me a big old bar of limit break. I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed? You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. That motherfucker was holding it with one hand before. Then let's shut him up. Ah, oh, well, there's the cannoneer they were talking about. <laughs> Didn't do as much damage as I thought it would getting hit by that. Not this time. I think it's actually unpractical. It looks so weird. <laughs> I feel like he's holding like a giant freaking just the barrel of the cannon, you know. Did they ever learn to put things on wheels? Well, I guess maybe that would probably be a bit quicker to use than something in the air. Ether. It's ether. Then we better make this quick. That does quite about a bit of damage. Oh, I wasn't even locked on to him. <laughs> Not this time. Hey! 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 Stop that. Some of that. Garuda, lend me your strength. Who's that? Hey, he's going flame flamethrower mode again. Ow! Stop that. Not this time. Right. 
I was taking a lot of damage there. Aggressive now. Not this time. Get him, boy. I was really certain I dodged that, but you know. Take a seat. It's like you got massive amounts of damage resistance, Jesus. Went three times. I'm trying to save my limit break for when I'm close to breaking him. This time. Too slow. Get him, boy. Oh. Missed. 
so that does a lot of damage actually. That's exactly what I needed. I'll never get used to that. The classic or no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. Yeah, is it like, can I look that up? I'm actually curious. The irreversible change brought about by a living being's exposure to ether. That creatures are stripped of any intelligence or sense of self they may once have had and become suffused with life force, usually manifesting as extreme strength and aggression. Flora can be can also turn, resulting in their twisted overgrowth. Those with ethereal tolerance, however, such as dominants and bears, are less likely to turn a Kaushik. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So it's like, it's more toxic to humans, or just non-bears. Learn about this. See, a mother crystal situation on the Sea of Grace in northern Sandbrick. Drake's head towers over the holy capital of Orflam, its mighty form, a testament to the power and permanence of the Empire. However mysterious, ether floods, and the specter of the ever encroaching blade have led in power to call that permanence into question. Yeah, never mind. However mysterious ether floods and the specter of the ever encroaching blade have led some in power to call the permanence into question. Yeah. Let's see, though the people of Alicia re rely on the crystal mind from the mountains in their everyday lives and flock to the ether rich lands around them in pursuit of their blessing, Sid, like Sid posits that it is, in fact, the mother crystals and their ability to draw ether from the, wor from the earth that is a reason from the Deadlands advance. The few who learn the truth are hunted down by those in positions of power, those whose power rests on their rests on their control of this crucial resource. God, duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Ah, yeah, see? And non-bears, it's basically a death sentence for them because, like, the ether just starts popping up and they start... They turn into... Well, they don't turn into that, I think. Do they? I think I remember... No, when I read it, they said they... Let's see. Yeah. Breathe <laughs> ah, deep of the blessing, my friends. Who said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits? Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which hmm. means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. Well, what will they do to poor old Torgal? Uh, Torgal's a special kind of dog. Because <laughs> huh. it did say it fucks with the flora too, so. Unless that just means, like, the plants and stuff. Yeah, so this is what an ether flood is. And these guys are gonna go all like. I think they've gone. Oh yeah, they've gone. Oh, the miners, the gods. The ether's made monsters of them. All we can do now is put them out of their misery. These are both sessions of the empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Could this be why? She said you could call her Isabel. Never mind. If ever there was a reason to walk stage, some ether blood would be it. Fuck me. Those guards at the gate. They weren't there to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. Huh. Yeah. That makes sense.
couldn't have the streets flooding with like zombie like almost <laughs> it turns it turned hell zombie-ish. <laughs> I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side. At least you won't get lost. Some opponents will use the ability war, war Cry to invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance in battle. Look for the sword up icon and try to defeat them before they can deal too much damage. Barbarian mode. <laughs> Sorry, I've been playing Diablo before this came out, so. It's like playing Barbarian, so yeah. Here, let's see if I can hit a lot of them with this. Oh. Long cooldown, but it's a very powerful move. The limber break does quite a bit of healing, actually. Pretty useful to save on those potions. That must be the way to go. I'm pretty sure. That's everything here. Yeah, that's the way we came. Da, 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 da. Yep. Let's continue on. I'm not seeing anything. And we can't jump up there, so there's no vertic verticality. There is, and I've been wrong this entire time. Nope. Oh, well, let's go see what's at the end of this hallway. Oh, 
Oh boy. Now we have a now we have a big axe wielding fucking Akashic. Or hammer. that up. Good job, Sid and Jill. You took care of that. Coral sword, huh? Oh, the first time I've seen a weapon come out of that. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> it's like five. We'll stick with, uh... Yeah, we'll stick with, uh... The current sword. I see they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. What happened to two? Ask one. That was cute, Sid. Once more. <laughs> Aye, seeing as you're trying now. What happened to two? Ask one. If that was gonna keep us out. I mean it could have. Cause you could have kicked it down and it could have like crumbled the entire like could have been holding up the rock face there. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it.
I don't have a wisecrack for that. <laughs> I bet this is going to look extremely pretty. There's no one about. Called it. I knew it would be big. <sighs> but this. our way into the inner sanctum. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, state the Empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Game of hide and seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. <laughs> but how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Music, man. Oh no. Yeah, I'm again. Is there something you two want to tell me? Maybe later. Yeah, right. be here in the mines and the two places connected somehow mm, I have a feeling we're about to find out Spectres. No more race. Oh, oh, combination of the two. Keep your distance, boys. Wait, did one just heal him? The freaking Spectre. Get him. 
This is like mug that man. <laughs> the chance. in the Imperial Army. Soldiers assigned to the Glass Gate would tell stories about something they call the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. It's a big ass walkway though. Whew. Look at this. She's this looks incredible, actually. Where did that come from? If I had to guess, that's the Guardian. Poor beast. Another victim of the flood. Well, if it's a fight he wants. Ready, Clive? Always. Laser beams. Okay. <laughs> Firing his laser beam again. Oh, that hit me. Shit. Damn, 
I should probably use this. Nineteen thousand damage there. Where's he off to now? Cauterize. Whoa! Alright, alright, alright. Oh. Forgive me. Well shit. He wants. Ready, Clive? Always. Jesus. We're going to make sure this time that we actually survive this. Ah, Jesus, that does so much damage. <gasps> He's going to fucking kill me. Actually, that probably would have. Well, 
guy's going for it twice. Oh. I'm actually quite nervous. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, then he's gonna fire horizontally. And then vertically. to get him. <laughs> wow, I was glad I was able to precision dodge that. Actually hit me, damn it. Uh oh, he's going for that crap again. Let's heal. Cause I don't trust that I'm not gonna be able to dodge it. Ah! <laughs> There's gotta be a way. Probably Phoenix shift, maybe? Or perfect dodge it? Precision dodge? Possibly? Hoping that would finish him off. Oh, I should have just tried to avoid that. <laughs> 